While many people speculated that Sean P. Diddy Combs knew that his LA and Miami homes would be raided on yesterday, according to the bad boy founder, the mogul, Diddy said he knew nothing about it and was completely in the dark about what was coming his way Monday. As a matter of fact, according to sources, TMZ is reporting that Diddy, alongside some of his kids, were actually at a Miami airport when they were actually stopped and told, yo, you can't really go anywhere right now. Your cribs are being raided. Diddy was seen on video kind of pacing around at the Miami airport. And for the record, when everything was done, nobody in Diddy's entourage or crew or his family was told that they couldn't travel anywhere after the raid was done and anybody was that was detained at Diddy's Cribs. Nobody was arrested. Apparently, Homeland Security seized electronics that were present at Diddy's Cribs. Many people believe that that's in efforts to continue their investigation against uh, Sean Combs. Diddy's legal team is not happy about how things played out with the feds on Monday. His lawyer released a statement saying yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs residencies. There is no excuse for the excess show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities despite media speculation. Neither Mr. Combs nor any member of his families have been arrested nor have had the ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence led to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. That is again from Diddy's legal team. They are not happy how things took place. And Diddy's a smart dude. You don't become a billionaire by being dumb. Diddy knows how this reads online to the public. We're gonna talk about in another video how Diddy, who started a television network Revolt back in 2013 is actually no longer associated with the company sold it. We'll talk about that in another video, but this stuff is hurting Diddy's business and these civil suits are coming down the pipeline you know people who claim that they were wrong by diddy are getting more and more confidence by the day to, to come out and speak out and look whatever's true obviously this is some sick stuff that diddy's being accused of but there's also the possibility of people just saying yo i'm gonna get on this ship while it's hot even if things were not as bad as i may perceive them to be in a suit Right now is the time to attack Diddy. And I think he sees his reputation being drugged through the mud. You wanna know one of the things to me that hurts Diddy more than anything with public perception? Diddy doesn't have a fan base like that. Like I, I believe a lot of people hated on Diddy's in, in the nineties. You know, they were not happy about the deaths of Biggie and Pac. And for whatever reason, Diddy, I believe gets caught in the middle of that. You know, Diddy's not an artist per se. He's, nobody looks at him as a rapper. I know he's actually been a rapper on songs, but nobody looks at Diddy as a rapper. They look at him as an incredible producer and entrepreneur and money getter. You know, he doesn't have a fan base. Cause like, if you even look at how things played out for R. Kelly, I know he's incarcerated, but R. Kelly's got a fan base. Bill Cosby has a fan base. Some people that have been accused of some serious stuff in our community, they have fan bases that at least offer some level of resistance when you see some of these allegations coming away you don't really see a diddy fan base. as a matter of fact as somebody who's covered diddy extensively over the last few months with all this stuff going on or alleged to you know going on i really rarely ever see anybody come to diddy's defense most people say good get them out of here and that can be damning when your public image is arguably the most instrumental piece of your brand y'all let me know what do y'all think Diddy says, yo, you know, I wasn't in Antigua, though his private jet was landed in Antigua when, you know, all this was going on. He said, I was here in Miami again. I never confirmed that Diddy was in Antigua, but the, the walking theory was 
Diddy was on the run. He said, no, I'm in Miami. Matter of fact, me and my kids are going to leave the country soon. We have a trip planned because they're on spring break. Some people will say that's cap. Again, I'm telling you what he's saying. Um, y'all let me know. What do y'all think about all this? A crazy time to be Sean Diddy Combs. Time, love, and support this is what your boy would never take for granted. Diddy says Homeland Security, the feds, they wronged him. By the way, they tow his crib up looking for electronic devices on Monday. I'm out. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code FERRO, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app, use my code FERRO, and your first deposit will get doubled. Do you want to see your favorite athlete live in action next time they're in your town? Or do you want to see your favorite artist performing in concert next time they're in a city near you? Head over to the SeatGeek website or app and use my code HoopsFero for $20 off your first purchase. Make sure you subscribe to the Is Mr. Telefero YouTube channel. And hey, donate a super chat. Follow me on Facebook at Is Mr. Telefero. Cop a supporter badge. The Underdog Fantasy promo code is Ferro. The Seat Geek promo code is Hoops Ferro. And follow me on Twitter at It's Mr. Ferro.